Well, what's going on everyone? Thank you for jumping into this video. My name is Jason and I'm a full-time eBay reseller and extending out into Facebook Marketplace as of lately. But first things first, this is one of the first videos, the what sold videos that I've done in a while and I'm excited to do it because these are the 19 bigger sales I've had in Q1 of 2021. The main reason why I do these videos is so that you can find these same items if not very similar and flip them for very similar profits as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, why not go ahead and subscribe today? It's really simple and you can get more videos like this in your feed. I've been picking up quite a bit of viewers lately and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. If you have any questions at all as I'm going, please put them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. So thanks for jumping in and let's go ahead and get started. These are a handful of items, but they're all over $40 with some of my larger items that I've sold this quarter coming at the end. So I'm gonna go in an order from smallest to largest. Let's get to it, here we go. All right, first up, as you can see, I sold this vintage Sony Walkman. Now here's the crazy thing, we went on vacation and I picked this up for $2.99. I listed it and within two hours it sold for full price $40.83. It's a cassette player, it's a vintage or retro cassette player and there were others out there that were cheaper than mine by five or 10 bucks, but still, mine sold for full price, I'll take it. But be on the lookout for these. Anytime you see something, especially electronics with Sony on it, you wanna take a look at this. It wasn't in mint condition, I had a few scratches on the face there, but still, $3 into $40.83, I'll take it. Shipped out and uh, love that sale right there. This next item I picked up for four bucks at Goodwill and uh, I'm always looking for unique pieces like this. Now, if you're familiar with me already, you know that I sell a lot of clothing, but as of in the last six months, I've been really pushing hard to branch out, get out of just clothing, get out of the things that I'm so familiar with. Not that I'm not selling those anymore, but I'm looking for other things to add to my store. And in this video, you're gonna see several items that are non-clothing items. That's intentional because I wanna show you other items than clothing. But this is a Polo Ralph Lauren like weekend duffel bag. It's just like a two or three night bag. It's not huge. But I did get $42 on a best offer on this. And it was just a great looking bag. It didn't take long to sell. Had leather on the bottom and even had a flaw there on the strap. But it wasn't too big. So great sale on that one. And it's out the door. I've been picking up quite a bit of like dinnerware sets and bowls and random things like that to catch my attention. And this bowl, I'm not sure how you pronounce the title, but Ceramica Quare, I think is how you say it. This Tuscan landscape, you can see it's a beautiful print here. Um, honestly, I think that print is what sold it. I even had two very small chips on the rim. Let's see if I can show you where those are. There's one right there. And there's the second one. So I listed that with two small chips. And even still on this bowl right here, I was able to take $48 on a best offer and I only paid six bucks for this. So that's a great find right there. And this is a larger serving bowl. It's not like a small like cereal or soup bowl. It's a very large like pasta serving bowl as you can see I put in the title. But I've been picking these things up like crazy. These large serving bowls if they have distinct patterns or great brands and they sell. I'll give you a quick look at the brand there on the bottom but there it is, Ceramica Quare. This next item I picked up in Denver, it was a Patagonia rugby shirt had great color and it was a men's size large. But the only thing about this was it had shrunk due to use. It was very short. So I had to list that in the title because the pit to pit measurement was larger. It was more like a large or an XL, but the length was very short. So I still listed that as a large and then I just put a description in the, uh, I put a little blurb in the description of this listing that um, the shirt length has shrunk and I listed the shirt length 25 inches. Normally for men's, you would see like 29 to 33, somewhere in there. So this was obviously like three inches shorter. I'm hoping that the person that got this, because I did just sell it, um, actually saw that and is not going to return it. But lo and behold, this sold 48 bucks from a $12 purchase. So 12 into 48, that's kind of on a higher end of items that I'm picking up. I don't normally spend 12 on a shirt, but Patagonia Rugby, I knew I could get some really good cash for that. If you have watched any of my videos, you remember this Yeti sitting right back here on the shelf. And if you see that it's gone, it's because it sold. All the items that I have on that shelf back there are for sale. I've currently got them listed. But this Yeti was 
there and then he took his place recently. This sold about two weeks ago for a full price of $50, which included shipping. Every price I'm giving you includes shipping, by the way. But the funny thing about this is it was only two bucks at the thrift store. It was large. It was about two feet long and I had no comps, nothing to really go off of to kind of get an idea for how much this would sell for. I just basically saw that it was a unique piece and I picked it up. So $2 into 50, this was a great find. I'm kind of sad that he's not on my shelf anymore, but I'm glad that he's with someone that really wants him. So he's gone. And I'll just take a second to mention that unique pieces like that are always what I'm looking for. Of course, I'm gonna get bread and butter items like the Ralph Lauren shirts or things like that, the dress shirts that I'm finding all the time, but I'm always on the lookout for unique pieces that stick out to me, that are different, or even brands that have unique patterns that you don't see all the time. So that's a, just a reminder to keep an eye out for those pieces that are unique and don't be afraid to spend some time and look them up. I've been learning to just slow down in the store look up items that catch my eye because there's a reason why those items catch your eye most of the time. This next item isn't very unique, but it is a good brand and the brand is Allen Edmonds. These were men's size nine penny loafer dress shoes and I'd sat on these for a while, but finally I got a best offer of 40 plus 10 shipping and I took it. I had these listed around 63, 73 total with shipping. 50 was a little low, but for men's size nine and for them sitting a while, I just needed to get them out. The brand I said already, Allen Edmonds, but you can see right there on the inside, Walden was the style of shoe. These were in great condition, did have some wear on the bottom, but still glad to get those out for 50 bucks. Patagonia is a brand I love, and I found this on the ground at a Goodwill. They had it marked for, I believe, 10 bucks. It looked like someone was trying to hide it, but it was a women's snap tee pullover fleece. So I picked this up for about 10 or $12 and sold this within a week of listing it for $50 all in. I love Patagonia and almost any time I see it, I'm gonna pick it up. This next item was actually in our personal collection. My wife had used these to decorate at one point in our home and then decided she no longer wanted them. So these are old ball mason jars and they're very unique patterns, different um, they all come from different uh, decades or years. And you can see I've put in the title 1910s, 20s, and 30s mason jars. I actually looked those up and matched the logo or the, yeah, the logo on the jar with what year they corresponded with. So I had to do some research, but was able to list these and get them sold for $52 all in. Be on the lookout for these very old ball mason jars. And as further clarification, you're looking for like this blue glass with these zinc lids that are pretty cool there. You can see rusted, but still unique piece. These next shoes I picked up for $8 at Goodwill about three weeks ago. And these are Adidas Traction 360 golf shoes, as you can see in the title. But what makes them unique is the lacing system. These are a BOA lacing. You can see right there on the BOA lacing device and if you're not familiar with BOA all you have to do is just turn that knob and it tightens and then you turn it the other way or push in or something to loosen it but it's a simple way to get into shoes without having to lace. Now because of that BOA lacing device the value of these did go up um, more than what I would have gotten if they were just regular lace-up shoes but I did end up getting a best offer of $55 on these shoes that I paid $8 for and couldn't have been happier to get that for a pair of used golf shoes. Here is another fast flip, and this sold last week, if not this week. Some of the times the weeks blend together, but this uh, Patagonia Black Hole Mini Messenger Bag retails for around 90, and I didn't get that much because you can see it's branded right here on the front with that WRS logo on it but I still wasn't afraid to pick it up because I knew that Patagonia with the tags is a great brand. And so I paid $15 for this black hole duffel bag and I sold it on a best offer of $55 about two days after listing it. Black's obviously a color that a lot of people would like and who knows, maybe the person that bought this actually works for WRS and this is a win for them. Big Star is a brand that is great to sell if you're looking for men's jeans, especially these Pioneer jeans. I had a couple of pairs of jeans just like this sell for around the same price 
NQ1 of 2021, and here's one of the two. And you can see they've got these big, thick stitch, big pocket designs, and there's a look more at the tag on the inside of the jeans. I listed these and they sold for full price, $55.83 with shipping. Now I paid up for these at Goodwill, I actually paid $20, so I didn't profit as much as I would have liked to have. Had they been more than 20, I probably would have left them behind. 20 was right on that line and I just wish they would have been discounted and not 20 bucks, but I still profited about $15 on these jeans. This next brand is not new to me and probably not for you if you've been following my channel. I love L.L. Bean, I say it all the time, but honestly guys, it is so quality and this is proof. This sweater sold same day of listing it and it's a men's medium, which if you know me, I don't typically like to pick up men's medium or smaller, but I knew with L.L. Bean and a sweater that was uh, a cardigan sweater, I, I had to take a chance. I paid around four to six dollars for this sweater. I'm not quite sure because I don't remember where I got it, but this sold, like I said, same day for $55.83 at the tail end of winter. Couldn't be happier because it's not sitting in my inventory uh, for another year until winter rolls around. So glad that this is gone. And L.L. Bean is always a great item to find, especially these cardigan sweaters and other wool sweaters as well. I picked up these Adidas Alpha Bounce shoes, and as you can see in the title, they're size 17. They were huge, but they were in great condition. The soles looked really good, and all the sides and the toes and everything just did not have a lot of wear on them. I picked them up for eight bucks, and these sold for full price of $59.83. Now, I love when buyers come in, pay full price. That was the case here. $60 for a pair of shoes, and I actually listed these on Facebook and eBay. They sold on eBay, so I took them off of Facebook. Here is a very recent sale as of last night. This sold on a best offer of $74, including shipping, on this vintage Polo Ralph Lauren corduroy blazer. It's a very nice design there, and you can see it's three buttons, so that's something I put in the title. There's the tag right there, it was on men's large. I wished it had the padded elbows, which would have helped even uh, sell it for a little more, but it didn't, and that was okay. This was a great piece that I realistically was thinking I would be sitting on until next fall, but glad that this sold for $74. Couldn't be happier. I love finding these corduroy blazers, especially from Polo, Orvis, or Eddie Bauer. They always go for that 50 plus range. Here's another item that went for over $50. Since we're increasing, it was obviously more than 74, which was the last item. And these New Balance 990s uh, V4 athletic shoes, I don't pick up New Balance that much, but the 990s I've picked up several times, used, they still hold their value. I got a best offer of $75 on these within a few days of listing. And check out these shoes, they're great condition. Gray is obviously their signature color. And that's a look that a lot of people are looking to purchase. Even on men's size nine and a half, they still went fast and glad to get rid of these. Here is the holy grail of golf shirts. Peter Millar, which is a great brand, paired with Masters. I've never found this before, and when I saw it, I about flipped out in the store because I've just never found it before. And I, I would buy a Peter Millar shirt, I'd buy a Masters shirt, never seen the two together, but lo and behold, here it is, and that's what the tag looks like right there. Masters designed by Peter Millar and it's got the Masters logo right on the chest there and I took a best offer on this for $75. Guys, I paid four bucks for this shirt and flipped it into $75 within about a month or two of finding this shirt. Got three items left moving up. This Harley Davidson women's 3XL jacket had a great logo on the back there. You can see the huge embroidered logo. Even had on the sleeves, see if I can find it. Um, there it is, had on the sleeves and on the chest. Other logos as well. It was just a solid rain jacket. I picked this up and paid up for this 25 bucks because I knew I was gonna be shooting to get around 75 or more, and I did. Within about a week or two of listing, I took a best offer of $85 on this women's jacket. I love Harley Davidson. 
if I do a search for my store right now, I won't have much in there because most of the time it sells quickly and it's hard to keep in the store. All right, this, this next item is single-handedly the most I've ever gotten for a used pair of men's jeans, or women's jeans at that. This pair of diesel Viker jeans went for $90.34. I could not believe it, full price. I kind of just priced it up there knowing that I would get offers on this and I would have taken offers of 10 or $15 less, but someone came in and snatched it full price. There's the diesel tag, and there's the diesel pocket that you usually will find on the diesels. And inside the waist, there's the model and the size. So the Viker, which is a regular straight, and this, these were 32 by 34. $90.34 on a pair of jeans I paid 10 bucks for at the thrift store. I, I, I mean, I don't know what to say on that. I, I just can't imagine. One, I've never paid that much for a pair of jeans, but I love buyers who do, and especially when it's out of my store. So. Happy to get those gone. That was a great sale. And then lastly, this was the biggest flip of Q1 for me, and uh, it was the second biggest flip of my career. I had sold this exact unit about two months ago for my dad. He had this in his closet. He asked me to sell it, and I sold it for him for $255. I had never seen this before. I wasn't sure what it was when he gave it to me. I had to do some research and finally sold his, but then, Two weeks later, I'm in a thrift store and I find the exact same thing. They had this mark for 75 bucks and I'm thinking I will easily pay that because I just sold this for 255 on a best offer. So I put it in my store, I priced it higher knowing I'd probably get an offer for it. I wasn't even the lowest price, but someone came in and snatched it at full price. Sometimes I don't understand why people don't go for the lower amounts and they paid full price when I was accepting offers, but I'll take it. So $329.83 on this home track, like back traction device, could not believe it. I about fell out of my chair when it sold, and this was a monster to package up. This guy took me about an hour to package, but it was well worth it, and believe it or not, it only cost me $30 to ship this piece right here. So I profited about $200 on this sale, which was an amazing find for me. I'll take that. Well, those are the larger sales that I've had of 2021 and proof that getting outside of clothing does pay off. I'm gonna leave you right here. Remember guys to like this video, I appreciate it. Thanks so much and until another video, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later, bye.